This is a beginner guide to AP Monitor for MATLAB. We're going to show how to install from GitHub or from a zipped archive a brief introduction to the modeling language and access to some of the solvers like nonlinear programming and mixed integer solvers. We have dynamic simulation, differential algebraic equations for model predictive control or moving horizon estimation, and then also tie-ins to data science and machine learning as well. So visit apmonitor.com to go ahead and get started. Uh, you can select the try it online to solve optimization problems. Okay, so that's just an example of the modeling language. Uh, there's also documentation available uh, as well as a version in Python or the one that we're going to be covering is the one in MATLAB. Okay, just a couple other resources just to get uh, started. There's also the uh, the YouTube channel for AP Monitor is where I'll post this video as well. Uh, you can also come to some of the courses that are available with an introduction to programming, uh, process dynamics and control, dynamic optimization, and optimization te techniques as well. So those are available. There's also a discussion forum um, as well that you can join. Now this is, uh, you can post files and get help from the community of users or for myself. Um, so just go ahead and post uh, your files uh, there if you'd like. Okay, so those are just some of the links. Uh, and then also some of the references uh, that are, uh, the views AP Monitor, uh, we'll update these here. You can see some of the 2017 ones and then going back um, from there. Okay, so some of the applications. But the one that we want to focus on today is this uh, Get APM MATLAB. So if you select that, uh, then you can uh, see a couple different ways to obtain the files to be able to run it. Uh, it's freely available for industry or academia. Uh, just go to the APM MATLAB with demo applications on GitHub. And you can see the different versions. We're going to go to the APM MATLAB version. And then you can just download this, um, download zip file, and then it'll download this archive for you. Okay, I'll just download it to the desktop. Okay, and if you're on Linux um, and uh, you would like to use, let me go back here and get the command, um, the git command. Okay, so we have a git clone. Uh, so you can also, if you're on Linux, I'll just go ahead and do this in Ubuntu. This is Ubuntu on Windows. Uh, you can do git clone git, okay. And then type in the address here. And then it will start cloning, retrieving the objects. And then once it's done, it'll be there in your directory, the APM MATLAB. Okay, and it shows you some of the test applications that are there. Okay, so that is in Ubuntu, or we downloaded it onto Windows as well. Uh, third way to get it is actually right here. You can get this zipped archive. And that's equivalent to getting it through the GitHub. It's just from the AP Monitor web page. Okay, so let's go and open this up. I'll go and open up the GitHub version. And it's going to extract it. So you want to just delete the one that's uh, zipped archive after you're done extracting it. Uh, you can come in here to some of the, these are the APM functions, and when you load APM, you add path to that. Um, and so let me just show you an example there. I'll go ahead and just, um, so when we do add path, we're just adding a path to that directory. So when we call something like APM solve, then it is going to use that function. So if I come over here to APM, I can see APM solve right there. And if I edit it, that's what the function is doing. You can go down through uh, the source code. Okay, so let me run through a couple of these demo applications. I have, um, this one is one, uh, you know, main.m. Uh, just go ahead and open up that. You're, we're gonna be running this model right here. This is a, a differential and algebraic equation model. And we're gonna run it. Uh, there's a little bit of a readme there. Um, so this is just uh, differentiating uh, or solving the differential equations. So that's dynamic simulation. 
and then once this opens then we're going to be able to run it in MATLAB. So the other thing I'll mention too is uh, we're going to be using the public server addresses so we're going to be using a public server to solve these but if you'd like to install the APM server on your own computer there's a link for that and I'll show you how to get to that later. Okay I'm just going to click the uh, run button and then it's going to go through and solve this demo application. You can see solution.demo appeared and then you can see uh, the dynamic simulation solution. If you open up this solution uh, demo you can see um, you can see the results. Okay so if I type Z then I'll see that it came back as a structure. There are my times and Z.U or Z dot let's see what those are Z dot X okay so there's the X vector and Z dot Y and then you can plot um, Z dot time and Z dot X for example and it'll bring up this plot okay so that's the first application uh, I want to show a couple others as well uh, we have uh, for example a uh, simple um, optimization problem with four variables constrained between 1 and 5 with an inequality an equality constraint and then an objective function as well so I'll um, go ahead and just solve this one as well uh, it'll again send the uh, information off to the server um, so if you type uh, AP monitor server and search for that you can also download the AP monitor server on your own computer there's just a couple um, steps to be able to do that you have to install Apache and PHP and then you just copy in the AP monitor files okay and this is a Windows uh, server version but there's example instructions there if you want to use your own computer you don't want to rely on an internet connection to solve these problems okay but here's my uh, server that I've selected this is a publicly available one and then I click run and it will return the solution it'll also open up a a model report here where it shows my x1 through x4 variables this is just a nonlinear programming example okay let's go back and uh, there's a couple more that I wanted to show like mixed integer nonlinear programming here is a, a mixed integer so I've declared a couple integer variables uh, these are actually binary between 0 and 1 and uh, this um, is a fairly simple uh, mixed integer nonlinear uh, programming problem with that objective function. So let's go ahead and solve this one. I'm going to come here and just uh, run it and I'll change folder. Okay, and then you can see again the solution that's output. It also returned it into a MATLAB console as well. And so if I um, look at the uh, results, I'll see the uh, uh, results dot x and then I can do results dot uh, x dot x4 that was from the I guess from the prior example I didn't uh, clear those out um, and then I also have y y dot x so this is from the integer uh, programming solution I see int x1 2 3 and 4 uh, so you can see those values uh, and the corresponding continuous values as well. So mixed integer, nonlinear programming uh, problem. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and close that. A couple other examples as well. There's a pendulum. There's an ERB. It's called a. This is from Systems Biology. This one's a little bit more involved. You can see. I'm going to scroll down here. It's a very large scale model with thousands of parameters and. Uh, and uh, hundreds of equations as well okay so you can see all those differential equations and so those are you know some more examples you have vaccines uh, there's a thermostat for example a heater okay so a lot of different examples there um, including distillation continuously stirred tank reactor and others if you'd like to just test all of them you can just open up this uh, test all and that will actually run through many of these example problems so you can just test it out on your computer and see if it's working okay so the main thing with getting started is that um, I think the main thing that I, I just want to make you aware of 
is that uh, you know there's a lot of support out there if you need help getting started. Um, so make sure you take advantage of the forums, the YouTube channel, uh, and also the course material as well. That's all on this website. Um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me as well.